Number 75. What are the three smallest non-zero thicknesses of soapy water with an index of refraction of 1.33 on plexiglass if it appears green, which gives a reflecting color of 520 nanometers of light when illuminated perpendicularly? Okay, check out number 74 for a little bit of a concept on this. Now, since the uh, particular wave, we got two kind of boundaries here. This is air, so that's one. This is then the soapy water, that's 1.33. And then this will be plexiglass, is about 1.5. So when the light comes down, right, when this ray becomes reflected, that's a half of a wavelength. When it then refracts on through the soapy water and it gets reflected by the plexiglass layer, that's another half. So basically you get two half phase changes here. Now this formula over down here on the right hand side deals with half, all right, phase changes. But what's happening is it's not half phase changes. They're full phase changes. So in other words, this is like saying two times the thickness <clears throat> of the material to give a constructive interference uh, will be equal to then the wavelength of that particular wave in the medium, like the soap, divided by two, but you really have two phase changes. So you're going to take this thing and multiply it by two. When you do that, the formula works like this now. So this is now one of them. In order to find the thickness there, you got to divide out two from both sides. So here now is the uh, formula okay, for the thickness. So the next jump then from two would be to four, right? So then we would have two over two, which is two, uh, excuse me, four over two, which is two. Those would cancel. So then the second formula is going to be now T sub C is equal to wavelength N. And then the, the third one, that becomes a six. And that's now a three. And that, be, that means now we have the th this formula, three wavelengths of N over two. So these are your three formulas. So now all you gotta do is basically find then the wavelength, okay, uh, of the light in the soap. So here, this is the light in air because that's what you're seeing. So this says, according to the formula, wavelength in a vacuum over the index of refraction. This is going to be then, uh, what do we got? So this is what we're solving for. This is then our 520 nanometers, all divided then by 1.33. So let's see what we get. So it's 520 divided by 1.33. This is 391 about. 391, I don't even know what that looks like, a seven. Yeah, you know what it is, 391. And then just take that value and plug it on into these formulas. And then you're gonna find them, okay? So we'll take that value divided by two. So I get about 1.5, one, well, 195 nanometers for the blue. Then plug it into the red. Well, that's easy, right? That's 391 nanometers. So you're gonna take that value then of about 391, right? Let's grab it. And then we're going to multiply that by three over two. So that's 586 about, 586 nanometers. And that would be the answer for the black one. All right, that's it guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.